In this video, we'll work on exercise number 23 uh, with uh, surface design in SOLIDWORKS. To begin with, we'll go to File, New, and double click on the part template. And now we have the empty workspace open, and on the left side, we have the drawing from which we have to do the design. So let's begin by cl clicking on the sketch and define the first sketch. So in this case, I think it's better we can start from the front plane here. So let's begin by creating this concentric circle and we'll do this sketch over here. Let's go ahead and dimension the circle as uh, diameter 64 and here it is diameter uh, This is of how much? Radius 50. The outer is of radius 50, so diameter 100. Okay. Now this is 25. And from the center, so I'll just move it a little outside. From the center, is that a distance of 3 and uh, from the bottom to the center of the circle it's 75 oops from the center of the circle to this bottom it's 75 alright now let's just go ahead and uh, do extend over here and go ahead and trim entities and just trim this portion and this portion off right and select these three lines here and go for okay before doing mirror entities you can just create a center line an axis line here and just go ahead and select the mirror entities and select the entities to mirror and mirror about as this axis line here go for tick mark now you can just go ahead and uh, go for trim entities and just trim this portion off Oops, that's supposed to be there. And mm, no, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, extend this entity and this entity here and go for trim entities and trim this portions off. Right. And this. Okay. Now you can see that this is still having a blue color, it means that it's not fully constrained. Let's just try to move it a little bit so that we can we will be able to find out exactly it's not constrained looks like everything is uh, green everything is good uh, and you can see it's not okay so let's select this line here and go for vertical and now if you see it's fully constrained as a black color it was quite strange that this wasn't vertical but anyways that's how SOLIDWORKS is and uh, SOLIDWORKS is not as perfect as Katia, which I have already mentioned. Now let's uh, get back to this <coughs> part of the model. So I would create another circle and create one more circle here. Now uh, what we do is we dimension this as well. So that'll be 25 and 50 diameter. So that's 25 and 50 diameter. Right. And that circle is at a distance of how much? 100 from the center. So that's 100. And this point and this origin has an horizontal uh, or that lies in the same plane so we can do that as well what else can be done okay I think this is good you can just exit exit the sketch and the reason why I chose only these two sketches and not all of these is because these two sketches has the same uh, they share the same uh, extrusion surface length so if I just go ahead and create extrude for this if I just uh, 
mention the extra that's 48 divided by 2 that's 24 so 24 on both sides in fact they share the same length that's why I have uh, chose I've chosen uh, two of those sketches now we have this done here what we can do next is um, select this sketch and go for fill surface and you can fill it oops okay what we can do is I'll just go for fill I'll select all of these edges okay now we have a closed surface there you can simply select that surface and go for offset and give an offset of uh, 48 so that that surface is uh, done on the other side as well similarly you can go for fill surface and just select this and this here you can go for uh, again another uh, offset offset in the reverse direction 48 and that will do on the other side as well right nice now we can come to the front plane once again and go for sketch here and also what I should have done is I should have just given this particular thing anyways that's already done so I just don't want to increase the number of steps when we do this just convert entities here and just draw a line horizontal and draw another line and go for smart dimension and dimension this for 10 and also uh, what we can do is maybe create a center line here let's pull this down pull down a little bit and just select these and go for symmetric tick mark you can trim and just trim all the remaining portions off all right now exit sketch you'll have to do uh, pretty much the same thing that you've done so that is to go for features so in this case uh, maybe we can do it a little differently you can just fill the surface here of a tick mark and select that surface and go for offset and offset it uh, with 24 here and you can select that offset and again go for offset and give 48 and offset it for the opposite direction go for tick mark and now you can select that surface and you can hide that what you can do is select this sketch and go for a surface go for uh, extrude extrude 24 and 24 on both sides and go for tick mark and that'll be done there and we have to do this as well so again we'll go for um, the front plane here and go for sketch in this case you can just draw another line here let's just draw another line here All right now just select this this and this here and go for convert entities and just go for trim and just trim all those portions off and this distance will be how much mm, okay so basically you just have to select this line and this over here and go for tangent and then select this line and go for horizontal and that will give you a fully constrained sketch and you can exit sketch there and uh, what you can do is okay another thing is that this particular thing is there on the other side as well so you can just go ahead and uh, go for sketch once again edit that sketch there and control 8 what you can do is you can just draw a center line from this point to this point here and select all of these lines that you've already constructed and you can just go ahead and select the mirror entities and just go for this axis line and just go for the tick mark and you have that as done as well now you can just uh, exit sketch select that sketch there right 
so what you can do is you can just so before doing that I can firstly fill this okay it's not giving you that that's totally fine you can just select the sketch here and go for extrude and extrude it with five on both sides so five and five on both sides will do that all right so uh, another thing that I wanna uh, mention over here is that there is this uh, thing that's getting repeated here right so what you can do is you can just come back to the sketch edit sketch what you can do is just delete this because this is a repetition here in this case exit sketch and that's not repeated anymore now you need to remove that portion where that's uh, that's not supposed to be there or something so you can do it you can just select that phase there and just go for the sketch in this case you can just select this and this line okay um, select this line and this line this line and this line there go for convert entities you can just trim and trim all these portions off all right now you can tick mark exit sketch good now what you can do is go for surfaces trim surface all right I take that off now we don't have that right okay also the similar case goes over here as well so mm, you don't need repetition here right so okay select this and go for edit sketch okay you don't really need this thing here and this thing here all these things has to go exit continue ignore close all right now we have to remove that phase that that's uh, coming over there right mm. okay we'll do one thing let's put it back okay we'll select this go for trim surface and uh, keep selections oops it's not working like that so alright alright Okay, do one thing. I'll we'll just go for surface and uh, knit. What we'll do is we'll just knit this surface. And the surface. There are no edges to knit. Okay, it's just one surface there. So, um, what can we do here? select that surface completely go for trim then go for remove selection surface extrude 3 I don't know what I meant what I want surface extrude trim surface keep selections oh yeah baby this is what I want Check mark. Oh, oops. Please select a surface to be trimmed. Oh shit. That's again a problem now. Let me select this. Let me just try this. Oops. Edit feature, remove selection. Okay, that worked, but not the way I wanted. 
Okay. Mm. That will be a problem. What I basically want to do is to create a hollow here. So, um, how can we do that? Surface. All right, we'll do one thing. Mm, let's forget about this. Go for sketch. Um, go for the front plane and create a sketch. Select this and go for convert entities. Select this and this. Convert entities. Go for trim. Take all of this portions off. Tick mark. Exit sketch. Okay, we have something over there like that. We can just uh, quickly go for surface and go for extrude. Extrude it with 5 and 5 on both sides. Good. Now we have a surface there, right? Okay. Now select that surface. Okay. And go for trim. And keep selections. Oh man. This is really, really. Mm. This is hmm. Thing is, it's not so flexible as Katia is. So, okay, we just go for a surface. Form curves projected. Okay, we'll try this projected here. Uh, sketch on faces. And this. Oh man, seriously. This is a very bad state. Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll just go for features and go for plane and create a plane at distance of how much 50 mm, okay fine okay now i can just go here and go for sketch in this case you can just select this okay basically you can just select this surface that i've just created and go for convert entities Oops, man. Okay, forget it. Select this and select this. Select this. Oh, man. Seriously. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay. Convert entities. Okay, now we have something over there. We can just use a line and just join this. Now, uh, so there's a line and join this. Okay, exit sketch. Okay, let that be there. Now, what you can do is just forget about all this surface and all that and just hide it. We can hide that. <coughs> all right. Now, what's this? Okay, now we'll go for that projected feature was there, right? In curve, I think, yeah, this projected. So we'll select this as a surface, and this sketch is something that needs to be projected. And uh, yeah, you can try it. 
Now so it will recreate projected code has more than one of no close profile now. I don't think so. So I'll just go for the sketch, edit sketch, control eight. We'll see if there is any open profile. Yes, there is an open profile. And this is usually a mistake that happens with SolidWorks again. So we'll just go for insert curve and a projected and you'd select the surface here and go for this and go for the sketch here on the, on the opposite side sketch um, reverse projection mm. okay so we'll just We'll just go ahead and uh, apply that. Oh my goodness, I really don't believe it. Curve. It's coming on the other side. And it's supposed to come on this side. Mm. Okay. So the one thing. There was a surface, right? There was a surface. Okay, we'll just edit feature. And that surface was there. I'll give that surface to be used. This one. I'll remove this, clear selection. Go for this. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so go for edit feature and this face like this face, remove this face. And go for tick mark. Now we have that created over there. Oh man, finally. Let's delete, uh, hide this. Now we have this curve here. Go for surface, trim surface. Take this off. Oh, okay. We'll just uh, invert that. So that uh, opening is made. So similarly, you can create an opening over here for this as well. So in that case, I'll just again select this. But I wouldn't uh, really uh, recommend that as a, this, this as the most healthiest method to do this. But what can we do? SolidWorks doesn't allow us to do a lot of things. All right, all right, convert entity. Did it happen? No. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll do one thing. We'll select. Um, we'll go for the front plane here. Go for sketch. And we'll just select this, convert entities. Why are we getting this? Okay. Fine, we'll select this, convert entities, okay? Now exit sketch. Okay, we don't want that much. So we'll just go ahead and edit sketch. And we'll draw a line. And we'll trim this portion off. All right, tick, exit, and now use that surface and go for create surface extrude do it with like 24 24 each on both sides all right now what we can do is let's hide this because the work with, with this is done 
select this plane here go for sketch and uh, we can what you can do is select this point if you cannot do that you can convert entities control 8 and use a line And also measure that so it's 10 right so you can just go ahead and see how much it is okay anyways it should be 10 so I'll just give 10 here and uh, now it should be good I think so this and this should be 5 that's 5 so anyways that's done exit sketch and uh, now we can go for surface now for the curve and go for projected and select this as a face to project and this has a sketch of a tick mark rebuild the errors uh, what exactly is okay uh, uh, change the direction we have that curve as well done so again what you can do firstly select that curve and go for uh, trim and again you can trim this uh, remove selections and finally we have removed that portion as well No, it doesn't seem to be removed so I think uh, okay maybe okay we'll do one thing so there is an extrude that I created and the surface got removed from that so uh, anyways I'll hide that that surface is hidden now again I'll repeat the step go for that curve go for trim and this time let's do it this one and this one here go for tick mark now it's removed there's something else that went along with it I really don't see the okay let me do one thing let me hide okay now all things are there right we have this so when I hide this why does the other surface goes along go along with that is what I'm not able to understand mm. so that's pretty okay we'll do one thing we'll select this curve and again go for trim repeat the step delete uh, remove this remove this tick mark now it's removed this place it's not removed again we'll repeat the step go for trim and remove this tick mark now that's removed all right now again we'll go for this curve now the previous curve, trim, remove this, remove this, tick mark. Now that place is also removed. The reason why we have to repeat these steps is because there is one more surface that's coming above this. That's uh, kind of this surface, which I created so that that can be a base for me to project the curve which will be used to do the trim. So all these steps are, I really feel it's all extra in SolidWorks, whereas in KTI that was just, uh, that was just a matter of seconds to do this kind of a hole. So I'm not sure if I'm missing out somewhere. Uh, maybe this can be done in a better way. So if, if at all it can be done, please 
comment below the video and let me know that I can uh, do that in my upcoming videos. So we have this done here, right? Now, uh, what can be done next? Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll just go for fill one. Okay, let me just firstly remove this curves so it doesn't create confusion. That uh, individual edges can be selected one and two and three and four. Now we have that fill there. So instead of uh, again selecting that, you can just go for the fill and uh, use the offset. Offset direction on the other side will be 10. Tick mark. Now we have that in the, on the other side as well. And similarly, what you can do is you can use a fill and select this edge, this one, this one and this guy right tick mark now we can select that fill there and go for offset and offset it on the other side tick mark now we have the model fully completed if you just try to look at it um, the only reason that this uh, model took this much time is because uh, uh, of that we had to remove certain surfaces and previously we were using sketch on plane but this time we had to do some kind of a curve in order to remove surface from a uh, curved surface so you can see that all of these surfaces are now continuous it's easy to create surfaces and uh, create this kind of a shape without making the surface continuous but uh, that's not how we have to do that model so now finally uh, we'll have to do a couple of holes here but that's kind of easy but anyways i will still do it let's just go ahead and create that go ahead and create this hole here and go for smart dimension and dimension and diameter 12. Mm, that'll be at a distance of 20 and this is a total of how much so let me just go ahead and see if the distance here is uh, this should be okay so let me just delete this uh, uh, middle point and go ahead and uh, give 20 here it's just a little above and also select this point and this point and go for vertical now it's fully constrained you can exit the sketch now you can do uh, go for extrude reverse direction you can do a full extrude up to last maybe or else what you can do is 25 plus 25 is 50 56 blind of 56 so we have it in full length now select that and go for trim and take all this portion you can do is surface and go for trim and take this and this not able to select that it's kind of sad. Uh, let's again go for this surface extrude and go for trim. That's getting selected. Go for tick mark. And that's removed. You can see literally see the other side. Now uh, what you can do is You can uh, knit both of these surfaces. Go for surface and go for knit. 
init okay it's already knitted right so I can just simply select the surface fill and go for trim oops man mm, in order to remove that okay I'll do one thing I'll just select I'll uh, literally create a box here it's nothing like uh, um, Ketia that I can guarantee you guys I'll select go for trim trim this portion off and uh, what you can do is the surface you can hide it so we have a continuous surface finally the model is done I'm uh, really uh, you know I know this model took a little uh, a little lot of time and uh, we have done some trial and error methods so thank you for bearing with me and if you have any uh, comments saying that this can be done uh, this and so and so ways please uh, come forward and give so those suggestions and I can use that in my next videos thank you and stay tuned